Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'm a do it off for you. Welcome back, trainers, battlers, and girls that PvP. This is Pogo Joel here coming at you with another Voyager Cup video. In this video, we'll be focusing on the Johto Pokemon. And if you haven't heard of me before, I'm Pogo Joel. I come up with event guides, tips and tricks videos, and some PvP content. Now, with this video, we will be focusing on Gen 2 Pokemon for the Voyager Cup. So, focusing on Johto. If you do find this content helpful, please drop a like, subscribe, uh, comment down there below which Pokemon in Johto are you bringing, who do you think are the best Johto picks, and let's get right into the video. So up first we have three restricted Pokemon, and the first one is going to be Azumarill, everyone's favorite little bunny. It is the bundle of joy of the Great League. Um, Azumarill is a very expensive Pokemon to invest in, but once you do, you are very happy that you did. Azumarill is a water and fairy type Pokemon with an attack of 112, a defense of 152, and a stamina of a beefy, beefy, beefy 225. Its weaknesses are going to be to electric, grass, and poison. Resisting dragon, bug, dark, fighting, fire, ice, and water. Now, with the Zoomeril, it is super tanky. It's It could be a meat shield if you wanted to. It is just amazing. Now, what you decide to run with it is going to be very interesting. So, for the fast moves, it's going to be Bubble. Bubble's going to be the one that helps you charge up the fastest. Um, I think it's only other fast move is Rock Smash, which is a terrible move. So, Bubble it is. Now for the charge move, it's super simple. You have three charge moves to choose from. You have Ice Beam, Play Rough, and Hydro Pump. And each of them are all good moves. So let's talk about Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to help you cover the Flyers, the Dragon types, and give you some coverage against the Grass types that are meant to ruin your day um, that you're weak to. So Ice Beam is a very powerful move on a Zoomerill. Now we do have Play Rough. Play Rough is going to be awesome against all of the Dark types. It's going to help you against the Azumarill Mirror Match. Uh, Play Rough is a better move to have. And Play Rough is just going to be a really awesome all around coverage move as well. It'll help you with the fighters. Now if we look at Hydro Pump here, Hydro Pump is Azumarill's nuking move. Uh, landing a Hydro Pump on just about anything is going to deal a lot of damage. Uh, and if you're in a mirror match and you don't have play rough, Hydro Pump is usually the way to go. Hydro Pump is going to help you with those tanks, so Registeel, Bastiodon, and man, it's hard to recommend what moveset uh, to run with. The most popular one and the one that PV Poke recommends is Hydro Pump Ice Beam, uh, which is a pretty standard one. A lot of people mostly do run that. Um, you do see some people running Play Rough Hydro Pump, which uh, is going to help you in the mirror and still give you that little nuke move. Or you can go anti anti meta by going Ice Beam and Play Rough. You have ice to cover the, everything and the Play Rough still to. Uh, mirror match. Uh, I've played around with just about every move set. I'm not sure which one I like most. What I will tell you though is look at your team, see what your weakness is. If maybe you're weak to fighting, you want to go play rough, that'll help you in the mirror and help you against the fighters. Um, if you see that your team might be weak against the flyers or dragon, then go ice beam. Um, up to you. I, I do believe you pair Hydro Pump up with something. Uh, I, I did come to that realization when I was running my anti-team, my anti-meta. Uh, I did miss Hydro Pump. So definitely consider Azumarill for your team. It is one of the restricted picks. And let's go to our next Pokemon. For our next Pokemon, we have Umbreon, a pure dark type Pokemon with an attack of 126, a defense of a beefy 240, and a stamina of a beefy 216. Umbreon is an awesome dark tank that can just deal a lot of damage and put out <laughs> a lot of charge moves. Um, being a pure dark type Pokemon, it is going to be weak to bug, fairy, and fighting, so things we will definitely see. It's going to be uh, resisting psychic, dark, and ghost types. Um, but watch out, ghost types, you guys are in for a treat if Umbreon is out on the field. Now, with Umbreon, you do have um, 
not too much move sets to play around with. It's actually pretty standard to go Snarl, Foul Play, and Last Resort. If you do not have a Last Resort Umbreon, you should not be running Umbreon. <clears throat> Yeah, Snarl is going to help you charge up those moves very quickly. Um, you do have Foul Play just getting off that dark coverage move. And then you have your little nuke in Last Resort. It is a hard-hitting normal move that just will deal neutral damage to just, just about anything. So um, you do have some play here with Umbreon. Uh, Umbreon kind of taking a back seat because you do have other picks like Azumarill that are just so popular but I have seen some pretty good Umbreon teams they have to look out for fighters but it is still really viable. For our last restricted pick in Gen 2 we have Skarmory a steel and flying type Pokemon with an attack of 148, a defense of a beefy 226 and a stamina of 163. And its only weaknesses are going to be to Electric and Fire, Resisting Bug, Grass, Poison, Dragon, Fairy, Flying, Ground, Normal, Psychic, and Steel. Uh, being a Seal type Pokemon does give you a lot of awesome resistances. But notice, um, Fighting is still going to be neutral and uh, Ground is resisted. Uh, so look out for those Fighters. They can cause you some trouble here. Now, if we look at the move sets, uh, this is one of those other Pokemon that it's a pretty straightforward move set. You're gonna go Air Slash, no stealing. Uh, Sky Attack is gonna probably be the best move it has, and then you pair that up with Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon giving you the additional steal coverage, uh, maybe against Fairies, um, Azumarill. So it, it does give you some play there. Now, Skarmory has just, it's always been one of the main meta Pokemon, uh, but you do have to choose in this cup between Azumarill, Skarmory, Umbreon, so kind of taking a little bit of a backseat, but kind of coming back out as well. So uh, keep an eye out for Skarmory's. They are still very strong meta Pokemon. Uh, definitely something to be aware of. For the rest of Gen 2, we do have a lot of awesome unrestricted Pokemon that you can utilize either in that 2 slot or in the 6 slot for the Voyager Cup. Up first we have Mantine. Mantine is a water and flying type Pokemon, pretty unique there. It has an attack of 148, a defense of a beefy 226, and a stamina of 163. Now, being a water and flying type Pokemon does give you a two times weakness to electric, and you're also weak to rock. Now, with the resistances, uh, we're going to double resist ground, we resist bug, fighting, fire, steel, and water. So, a pretty unique typing, uh, one of the very few ones like this in the cup that we can see um, up in the forefront. Now, what makes this Pokemon pretty awesome is the movesets. Uh, you do have some movesets to play around with. So, Bubble is uh, probably going to be one of the faster uh, moves that it has that has some stab on it. Uh, generating uh, generating that energy pretty quickly but then you have wing attack wing attack a little bit of an anti-meta uh, move there you can uh, go up against the fighters with it and you can go up against the grass types with it now you do also have the new bullet seed that charges moves so quickly it's like snarl but for grass types uh, but you do not pick up any stab with bullet seed on mantine now for the charge moves, definitely Bubble Beam is going to be the best one as it has a 100% chance to decrease your opponent's attack by one stage. Now for the second charge move, you do have some choices here that are pretty interesting. You can go Ice Beam, which is going to help you against the Grass types and the Dragons and the Flyers. You have Aerial Ace for fighting and grass, except Aerial Ace isn't that great of a move. And then there's Water Pulse, don't use Water Pulse. just just don't but Mantine is a strong meta Pokemon and anti meta Pokemon if you use it correctly up next we have Meganium everyone's favorite six slot Pokemon it's unrestricted it is a pure grass type Pokemon with an attack of 168 a defense of a nice 202 and a stamina of 190 now it's gonna be weak to bug fire flying ice and poison and it's going to be resisting electric grass ground and water so a pretty good pokemon here but let's look at the movesets the movesets are what really make it stand out 
Now, you're going to run uh, Vine Whip 100%. Just run Vine Whip. That's going to be the fastest char uh, energy charging move. And then you have to have the Community Day Frenzy Plan to make it work. And Earthquake as the secondary move. We don't look at any other moves. This is the move set. Frenzy Plant hits a lot of things hard. Um, it's going to be good against the water type Pokemon. And it's pretty neutral to almost anything. Uh, if you get stuck with flying, it won't be good for you. But hey, at least you get some chip damage in. Now for the secondary move, we have Earthquake. Earthquake will cover all of those steals. So Reggie Steel, Bastiodon, Melmetal, and it's going to give you a, an extra coverage move for anything that's just weak to ground. And you can also Earthquake a bunch of stuff as well to kind of get rid of them off the field. Um, so definitely play around with Meganium. It is, is a very popular six slot pick. You can bring in any like Pokemon from Gen 2 that's restricted, like Azumarill, and then pair it with Meganium. So Meganium, a very strong choice. Up next, we have Noctowl, a normal and flying type Pokemon with an attack of 145, defense of 156, and a stamina of 225. Amazing. It's going to be weak to Electric, Ice, and Rock, resisting Ghost, Ground, Bug, and Grass. What makes this one pretty cool is uh, it's pretty beefy. It's pretty pretty tanky. It can take a nice beam. Uh, with the move set, it's almost straightforward. You're definitely gonna have wing attack and sky attack as your fast and charge move. Now the secondary charge move, totally up to you. You can go psychic um, for some awesome coverage there, or you can go nightshade with some awesome coverage to uh, the other opposing psychics and ghost types. So uh, definitely some movesets to play around with. Noctel is definitely a very good pick if you're in need of a flyer in your six slot. Here is the rest of the field. These are all good options. We have Quagsire, one of the OG Mud Boys uh, that we used to bring out. Mud Shot, Stone Edge, and Earthquake is what you're going to want to run on that guy. It's still a really good option, weak, very weak to grass, but other than that, it's, it has some really great coverage moves. Then we have Hit Mode Top, one of the best fighters I, I like. Um, as a six slot Pokemon, if you're in need of a fighter, um, I have played around with Hitmontop. I did like it, but uh, there's just stronger options out there for me. But Hitmontop with counter, close combat, and Stone Edge is very dangerous. Stone Edge uh, covering the flyers and a neutral move to everything else, and then that close combat that just deals so much damage. And then you have Lantern, Lantern with Spark, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, or Water Gun, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump. A very good coverage Pokemon. Water Gun does a lot of damage. Spark charges up your moves fast. Uh, you have coverage against Flyers, other water Pokemon, uh, a good neutral move there in Thunderbolts, and then you have your nuke move Hydro Pump. Uh, very good Pokemon there. And then after that, the, the list kind of drops off. I saw a, a one winning team with running Typhlosion, uh, Blast Burn, Solar Beam for that. Uh, you do have the tanky Lugia with uh, Dragon Tail, Sky Attack, Hydro Pump, or you could run Extra Sensory if you want that uh, Psychic coverage there. Um, there's Steelix. Steelix is a cool uh, Steel Wall if you're looking for a six slot Pokemon. Uh, Jumpluff just got a boost in uh, its moves with Bullet Seed and Energy Ball. It also has Aerial Ace for coverage. And then after that, it really does kind of die down and everything else becomes super spicy. Um, there's some play, I guess, for uh, Celebi, if you want to look at that. Um, but the rest of the field is pretty pretty uh, spicy down there. So Gen 2, a pretty strong showing, only three restricted picks. So you do have a lot of unrestricted Pokemon you could be using there. If you find this content helpful, please drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment down there which Gen 2 Pokemon are you looking at for your team, and until next time, trainers, battle on!